2018 Chevrolet Camaro Review. 50 years on, the Chevrolet Camaro surpasses it has ever been. There's much to appreciate in regards to the 2018 Chevrolet Camaro. Sure, the Camaro's Adele 1 gets every one of the deserved opinion of YouTube due to the Gonzo 650 horsepower V8, however it's not the only Camaro you should purchase. If just enthusiastic about stylish motoring, it is possible to go with the bedspace turbocharged four-cylinder engine or perhaps the capable V6. Then Thea's possible 6.2-litre V8, that's more than enough performance for many driving enthusiasts. We also love the 2018 Camaro's precise handling, smooth ride on the road and plenty of standard equipment for the investment. If you have not been around a Camaro within a long time, you will likely be shocked how refined the modern version is. The Camaro really has its drawbacks and key rivals are pleased to pick up where it leaves off. The Ford Mustang, for instance, is more livable and practical when driven each and every day. And the Dodge Challenger is them both beat with regards to retro muscle car looks and usable back seat space. Overall, we're stunned at the Camaro's blend of power, precision and head-turning looks. What's new? For 2018, the Wonder Extreme Track Performance Package is really a newly available choice for the top Camaro trim level, the supercharged ZL1. Otherwise, the 2018 Camaro is just unchanged, though the Camp 1 LS trim level can be a recent addition, arriving late inside 2017 model year. Fears no loser inside bunch, nevertheless for us the sweet spot inside Camaro range would be the 1SS which gets you the Camaro's 6.2-litre V8 for the authentic muscle car experience. The One SS is nicely designed with Incartec, too. On top of that, look at the one track performance package, that can bring the excellent FE4 suspension, an electric limit slip differential and Recaro Sport front seats. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Chevrolet Camaro is obtainable as a 4 seat coupe and convertible, with 1 LS, 1 LT, 2 LT, 1 SS, 2 SS and ZL1 trim levels. The LS and LT models come standard which has a turbocharged 4 cylinder, plus a V6 is additionally available. The SS features a V8 along with a ZL1 incorporates a supercharged V8. The 1s and 2s represent amounts of equipment, but there are many optional packages and standalone things to help you customize your ideal Camaro. The LS and LT models come standard using a 2.0-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine 275 horsepower 295 lbft. Nonetheless they can be designed with a 3.6-litre V6 335 horsepower. 284 RLBFT. The 1 LS and 2 LT come standard with all the 6 speed manual transmission, whilst the 1 LT comes with a 8 speed automatic. Like all Camaros, the LS and LT models are rear wheel drive. Standard equipment on the Camp 1 LS includes 18 inch alloy wheels, lead running lights, a limit slip differential with all the manual transmission, a rear view camera. Keyless ignition and entry, power adjustable front seats, a leather wrapped leader and adjustable driving modes. Technology equipment includes Bluetooth, OnStar emergency communications, 4G LTE Wi-Fi connectivity, a 7-inch touchscreen Chevy Smilink interface, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay smartphone integration, along with a 6-speaker speakers with satellite radio. Additional gear for the 1LT includes remote start, the aforementioned automatic transmission and steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. The available technology package adds a 9-speaker Bose sound system and an 8-inch MyLink touchscreen on the 1LS and 1LT. The 2LT includes the technology package's contents and adds to outzone automatic climate control, 
leather upholstery, heated and ventilated front seats, with an auto-dimming rear view mirror. If you add the convenience and lighting package to your 2LT, you're going to get heated and auto-dimming mirrors, rear parking sensors, driver memory functions, a head-up display, a heated tire, wireless smartphone charging, blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert. The RS package positioned on 1LS, 1LT and 2LT includes 20-inch wheels, Xenon headlights, LED taillights, its own grille along with a rear deck lid spoiler. For the 1LS and 2LT, the 1 litre track performance package coupe only adds the V6, the FE3 sport tuned suspension through the SS, 20-inch forged alloy wheels, 4 piston Brembo brakes, a mechanical limit slip differential a short throw shifter, a track cooling package, a dual-mode exhaust, special aerodynamic spoilers and also a satin black hood. Recaro Sport front seats can even be added for the 1L package. The 1SS basically has the 1LTS equipment and also a 6.2 litre V8 455 horsepower, 455 LBFT. A 6-speed manual transmission with rivmatch downshift and 8-speed automatic is optional, 20-inch wheels, the 4-piston Brembo brakes, the FE3 sport-tuned suspension, a mechanical limit slip differential, a track driving mode, a rear spoiler, Xenon headlights and upgraded gauges. The 2SS includes the 6.2-litre V8 and each of the features in the 2LT trim, together with unique interior accents and also the convenience and lighting package. For the 1SS and 2SS, the SS1 Le Track Performance Package adds 6 piston Brembo brakes, the FE4 suspension with adaptive dampers, an electronically controlled limit slip differential, different forged alloy wheels, upgraded performance tires, the Recaro Sport seats and everything included while using LT's 1 Le Package. Finally, the Camaro ZL1 features a supercharged 6.2 litre V8 650 horsepower, 650 LBFT, a 6 speed manual transmission, a 10 speed automatic is optional, and launch control. All on the 2SS and SS1 Lo extras, without the cosmetic differences, may also be included. The ZL1 1.0-litre E-Extreme Track Performance Package adds 19-inch forged aluminium wheels with wider tyres, special rash-oriented suspension dampers, a carbon fibre hood and rear spoiler, and tinted taillights. With the ZL1 1.0-litre E-Package, a hard and fast rear seat can also be available. Other available extras incorporate a sunroof, a performance exhaust all V6 and V8 powered models a navigation system 2LT, 2SS and ZL1 trims, along with a heavy-duty cooling and brake package 1LS, 1LT and 2LT. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically also comes in multiple versions which can be fundamentally similar. The S in this particular review use our full tests from the 2016 Chevrolet Camaro 2LT 3.6 liters V6. 8-speed automatic, RWD and 2016 Chevrolet Camaro 2SS 6.2 liters V8, 8-speed automatic, RWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the existing Camaro has brought only minor revisions. Our findings are applicable towards the 2018 model. Driving a strong performer that blends speed with precision and enjoyment in the way previous Camaros never did. The SS V8 is stout, but the LT's V6 is punchy. Handling feels more precise inside the V6, nevertheless the V8 having its stickier tires exhibits higher limits. Impressive 8-speed automatic transmission. Acceleration. Both engines pull strong from low revs and feel stout through the entire rev range. 
with 0 to 60 mph times during 5.1 and 3.9 seconds 335 horsepower v6 and 455 horsepower v8 respectively they are all quicker as opposed to corresponding mustang it competes with braking strong and consistent brakes possess a firm pedal and smooth initial response and perhaps they are easy to modulate the 2 ltv 6 stopped from 60 miles per hour and 111 feet on its all-season tires, as well as the SS V8 stopped in 102 feet on its stickier summer tires. Steering Very sharp, precise steering with good build-up of effort. It doesn't provide a whole lot of feedback or a feeling of road grip, though the V6 has less weight within the nose in order that it generally feels more accurate and agile. The small geometer leader feels great up to you. Handling A stand out to use class. More precise than you would expect a major, heavy coupe being. The V6 model turns in brightly and feels light on its feet. The heavier V8 seems more inert yet also feels very capable and planted rich in limits. Drivability. Eight speed automatic works smartly during commuting and shifts quickly at full speed, nonetheless, it isn't as adept between the above extremes. It's sluggish in manual mode. Both the V6 and V8 switch imperceptibly to four cylinders to avoid wasting fuel. Manual transmission in SS includes automatic rev matching. Comfort. The Camaro's ride quality is quite comfy thinking about the Camaro's mission, and it also gets better while using optional adaptive dampers. Most drivers will discover comfort inside the front seats, but a majority of may find that the bottom cushion odd. Don't bother while using back seat. Seat comfort. The well-shaped front seat back offers good lateral support without having to be confining. Even so the bottom cushion feels tight to many. The effectively padded door and center armrests certainly are a nice touch. But the back seat is very cramped that comfort seems impossible. Ride comfort. The base suspension delivers a supple ride with good damping. The optional adaptive suspension is all the more capable on a wider choice of surfaces, especially when dealing with larger impacts. Astonishing given its commensurate handling benefits. Noise and vibration. Both engines are quiet cruisers, nevertheless, the V6S sound is often unpleasant in other circumstances. The fatter SS tires make more road noise, but either version is acceptably quiet. The optional active exhaust is intentionally vocal at full throttle. Interior. It's improved within the outgoing car and layout and materials quality. But it still is suffering from poor outward visibility and trades function and space for style. There can also be some ergonomic foibles. Ease beneficial. Most primary controls are within easy reach. But the buttons in the row throughout the dash take time and effort to differentiate. The unusual infotainment screen angle is odd to make use of and sees shiny center console reflections. The window controls are awkward. Getting and jetting out. The front seat access is simple, and six footers does not need to duck much. The small, flat bottom tire gives you a tad bit more clearance, too. But the back seat is actually difficult to enter and exit plus the power front seat scroll. Driving position. The driver's seat is usually adjusted pretty low, which is usually good for tall person comfort, however it does ensure it is even harder to discover out in the car. The leader telescopes sufficiently, along with the shifter is in a position for shifting in hard driving scenarios. Roominess. The interior's forward half is spacious enough. However it feels confining compared to rivals. It gets worse should the Camaro provide the optional sunroof. 
the back seat offers little space even for this relating to average height, but especially if your driver is tall. It's a Kitsnley back seat. Visibility. The rear view is poor, but that is actually typical and rectified by blind spot monitoring as well as the rear view camera. It's the view forward and on the side which is the problem. It's very tough to place the Camaro on tight roads watch that rock wall. Or even in tight spots watch that pink cart. Quality. A big improvement in materials quality is watchily apparent, however, many buttons and toggles feel cheap, such as the shift paddles. The shifter and leader are nicely leather wrapped, but stitches for the tire rack course. Utility. The Camaro includes a compromised trunk and minimal interior storage, knowing that limits its desirability being a daily driver. The Ford Mustang and particularly Dodge Challenger less complicated easier to experience and use electrical systems. Small item storage. Interior storage is minimal. The door pockets and underarm rest bin are tiny. At least the cup holders are of the fair size and mostly out with the way during shifting. And however the back seat might be useless for anyone, it will allow for extra interior storage. Cargo space. At 9.1 cubic feet, the Camaro's trunk of not only the smallest volume inside segment, however it also carries a tiny opening in high lift over height, too. If you ever wondered why tourists who rent Camaro convertibles place their suitcases inside back seat, because of this. Technology. The Camaro comes standard having a considerable amount of infotainment tech and could be outfitted using a variety of optional accident avoidance and visibility aiding devices. Easy to touch screen interfaces at the same time. All told, finest in segment. Audio and navigation. The Chevy MyLink touchscreen method is much quicker than earlier iterations, and that we appreciate its large virtual buttons and general system layout. We think most users may find it all too easy to use. There are 7 and 8 inch MyLink screens available, but are oddly tilted downward. Smartphone integration. Bluetooth, Android Auto. Apple CarPlay as well as USB ports are standard on every Camaro. They all are expected. Driver aids. A rear view camera is standard, and that is good because of the Camaro's limited visibility. Blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert and lane departure warning are part with the convenience and lighting package and are available standard about the 2SS and ZL1. Forward collision warning mitigation will not be available. Voice control. Standard voice controls certainly are a bit stilted and require use of specific phrases, however if you are using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you'll be able to push and secure same button to go to Siri or Google Voice, both of which are a lot easier better at addressing natural language requests.